Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got Waka Flocka dropping a bombshell piece of information, man. We gonna get to that in a heartbeat, man. We got Tyler the Creator on deck, man. I never cover stories about him, man. Um, uh, we got Fifty Cent, man, holding it down as always. And um, uh, yo, J Prince, J Prince talking about J Prince Jr. and the whole takeoff situation, man. We gonna talk about that in, in a second, man. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, yo. This first time to the channel, man. Be sure to hit that like button. And if you are feeling any part of the content, I'm talking like if you crack a smile, man, hit us with a like, man, because it help us out, help spread your channel out, ch spread the channel out, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, if, you, if you're going to forget in the middle of a video, you might as well hit it now because you know you're going to like what you're hearing, man. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get right to it, man, so we can get the show on the road. Um, uh, check this out, man. Waka Flocka, Waka Flocka's mom is Deborah Anthony, all right? She used to manage Gucci Mane, all right? And she made a very interesting statement about Gucci Mane's killing a Pookie Logan 05 during a robbery attempt. Now, hopefully, you two don't slam me up against the, the freaking wall, you know what I'm saying? And allows it to play. Hey, yo, take... A listen. It's over with now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, technically, you really didn't kill anybody. Oh. So, let's stop talking about that now. Because all these kids think that you're the number one killer. And let's don't talk about it no more. Because now you're a dad. You got, you got two sons. Yeah. You have two sons. So... Come into that and think about your kids looking at something and these kids are looking at you a certain kind of way of mm. something that's fictitious. It was done for rap. So you're saying that, wait a minute, hold on. You're saying that Gucci never did that to Pookie Lo. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I mean, I mean that, well, that's, that's a good thing, though. That's a good thing. But don't keep, just let it go. Yeah, let it go. And I think that this stuff should stop now because all of these kids keep thinking that this stuff is going on and it needs, to, like in the rap stuff, mm -hmm. period, it needs to stop. It has to stop. We, when we came into hip hop, it was us talking about the way of life of getting out of shit, yeah. not coming into shit. Mm. And people are locking people in so that they can be gangsters to other people. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, yeah. no, let's not do this like this. We losing too many of these kids. Too much is happening now. Yeah. 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 Well, I was, I was, it was a great, it was a great moment for the culture. It definitely was a great moment for the culture for some, you know, when, when we, when we all saw it as, as fans looking on or whatever, it, we was like, well, if they can get along. You know, it may be some hope for the rest of us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, now get these women to do something. <laughs> why, why, why can't, why can't Cardi and Nicki get it together? Why they always? They're yeah. not the same people. Okay. And I think it has a lot to do. All right, look. Hopefully that played, man. Um, what's the name of that channel that posted that joint? I gotta, I gotta make sure I pick up the channel that posted that. It was Ugly Money Podcast. All right, it's the Ugly Money Podcast. Make sure you check it out and stuff like that. But look, 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 look. Let, let, I mean, like, like, let's discuss this for a hot second. Just for a hot second, man. You know what I mean? Listen, I like the way that she put that, man. She, she said they used to talk about where they came from, and now these folks is talking about what they'll get into. You know what I mean? It's sad. it's like no it's like nobody learned these these new artists. You know what I'm saying? The OG's supposed to be putting the youth them onto game. Like, nah, little bro. You know what I mean? That ain't the way, man. You ain't supposed to. Look, you making big paper now. You can't do that lower level street-ish. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what it really is, man. Lower level street-ish. If you still run around talking about, yo, I'm street, I'm street, nigga, you're lower level. Damn, that's 10. You know what I mean? Look, acting street. Look, acting street is for the youth that are ignorant of a better way. And if you're not a youth, them. <laughs> that is under 24 years old That your dumb ass should know better You know what I mean You should not be over 24 20, Acting mad street Now don't misunderstand what I mean by acting street You know what I'm saying You can still have a little residue of street in you But if your everyday practices are Yo I'm mad street I don't play that ish I'm going Then you're dumb as hell I'm just throwing it out there You're dumb as hell And I probably won't tell you to your face Because you're so dumb you'll probably do something stupid you see what I'm saying? And I don't feel like any of the bullish. Now, you can call me what you want, but it's because you're dumb. You know what I mean? Just let's just keep it a buck. And you probably don't even know that you're dumb. Because most of the time, dumb people, they don't know. You know what I mean? They think they're... Actually, you know dumb people think they're really smart? They actually think they're smarter than everybody else. You can't even school them. You can't tell... They don't think they're wrong. My bad. 
let me let me keep it going. All right. Um, if if you signed, if you signed, and because I know people be listening that they sign artists, and y'all be listening to Celeste Sauce. I know y'all don't want to admit that y'all what y'all doing over there. What these people doing? Don't pick up the trash off the ground. This lady is picking up. What is that doodle? Anyway, look, look, look. Um, if you signed anyone, right, under 24 years old to like music, like a, as an artist, if you if you signed an artist and you ain't told them, yo, it's the highway and not the streets, if you ain't told them that, you trash for not putting them onto a better way, man. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. Just cause a person is a successful artist, that does not qualify them. You know what I'm saying? To be a successful leader. It doesn't just work like that. You know what I mean? Too many inexperienced leaders run around. You know what I mean? Not knowing what the cuff they doing, having artists under them, and not showing them the right way to, to win. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you most, most of them got to rely on a damn teacher to school them. You know what I mean? People signing artists ain't telling them like, yo, you can't go around shooting at people. You ain't supposed to be holding a burner. You're not supposed to be holding it. You're supposed to have somebody holding it with you. You're supposed to be running around having somebody having your back, bro. You're supposed to be high, you're supposed to hire security. What, you, what the hell you think we pay for? Um, here's one I felt might be interesting to watch. You know what I mean? Tyler the Creator. Unfortunately, look, look, look. I'm, I'm, I never really talk about Tyler the Creator. Let me tell you something. I, I, I swear I heard him on a regular show. You know what I mean? You like the regular show? Ah, don't worry about it. Listen, it's one of my favorite shows. But listen, it's a cartoon. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah. I be, I be like, I be watching. I watch a cartoon in a heartbeat. You know what I mean? There's all kinds of truths that spill out of it, and it's adults that's making them. And it, but, but never mind all that. Um, Tyler the Creator is a very creative artist, but he always just takes it in a direction that i'm like yo i can't quite yeah you know i mean anyway tyler the creator unfortunately had to provide an explanation as to why i call jones animation studio martian blueberry is needed in our society take a listen um he was wondering why is cornell black now okay that's hold really, the fuck that's up that's a good question that's 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 we should have started with ask. that it's not your fault it was like why you make them black why can't have anything man <laughs> no no don't clap hold on Wait. how many fucking black cartoon characters is it on tv right now i name five i'll give you time <laughs> <laughs> cartoon characters wait cartoon characters or characters in general Cartoon. Cartoon. I only know like it is Lynch none. It is food. none. They cancel Static Shock. Nobody remember Fillmore. It's like <laughs> we don't got shit. The only other black character is this fucking weird ass. Oh no, they killed Chef off fucking South Park. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we don't have shit. So I said fuck that. We about to make this black, and he ain't got no guns. He ain't shoot no fucking basketball, and and he a fucking goober, and we gonna put him on TV. And okay. he's the lead character. <laughs> I love it when people tell other, like the audience, like, no, 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 don't clap, don't clap. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, look, I saw a preacher talk about like sin, and everybody started clapping. He's like, I'm talking about you. You know what I'm saying? Look, it's it's like in that episode of the Boondocks when when he like, whatever you say, folks start clapping. You know what I mean? You can tell him you going on a 40 day fast. You're gonna starve yourself to protest police violence, and folks will clap. You know what I mean? Now, just to hit you with some background, Martian Blueberry was co-founded by animation veteran um, Carl Jones, who has provided uh, who has provided a Peabody Award winning and um, NAACP Image Award nominated writing, uh, directing, animation for various studios and networks across the um, entertainment spectrum. All right. But his main focus was animation, okay? Now, he had a, they got a website, Marshall Blueberry. The website states that they want to supply the increasing global appetite for diversity and inclusion. You know what I mean? By using their wealth of experience and production knowledge and industry resources to accelerate the company's advancement into the forefront of the global marketplace. Basically, they saying, yo, man, we trying to, we trying, we trying to get in like, you know what I mean? We trying to make our way into the world just like everybody else. You know what I mean? They offer full service animation capabilities that specialize in high end 2D and 3D animation, visual effects and design. And they serve a variety of entertainment endeavors, including advertising um tv films nft or the whole nine your music videos everything you know what i'm saying uh i mean look it's sad that we got to explain to people like yo man we like why why do we have to explain why like there needs to be a black you know what i mean like main person main character in the story why why are we are we still there you know what i'm saying i, I mean honestly i don't know, I don't know. Let, me, let me keep it going what, what's my time looking like oh 
Look, there, there must be a very cool breeze that has blown over the world of hell. <laughs> Look, we could even sell, say hell may have very well frozen over. <laughs> you like, why are you saying that? Because 50 Cent has apologized to someone that he has harmed. You like Ja Rule? <laughs> Don't be silly. Okay. 50 has apologized to none other than Megan the Stallion. Now, I don't know if you remember, but, you know, with the trial and everything, I think 50 put up a post with Megan the Stallion and she started looking more and more like Jesse Smollett. Now, Jesse Smollett is a dude that lied and said that. What did he say? He said like he was um, he was harassed by racists or something stupid like that, man. But it didn't happen either. That, that nigga lied. Man. I mean, my bad. Damn. Eleven. Eleven. OK, now. Um, fit, uh, take a listen to what 50 had to say. I, I'm, I'm gonna apologize to Megan and Stein. Mm -hmm. I, um, I said some things, because, but and it was because on social media I posted things that when she said uh, she was with Gail, and she said that uh, she said, Were you intimate with Tory Lanez? and she said, Uh, what? and then it was like, No, and I was like, Ah, oh, she lying. Mm -hmm. At that point, I knew she was. Uh, She's lying. There wouldn't be no reason for me to be around each other. Babe. And then uh, um, from that, it, it felt like she was lying to me. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, little things would pop up and I wasn't being supportive of her. At right. That point. You and, were a little more vocal. Yeah. And the only reason why I, I felt like, you know, at some point you should apologize. I should apologize to her is because um, when I heard the uh, the phone call conversation. Yeah. That, that made me feel like, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, now nah, I know what, did, what happened. Now, hopefully that played. I ain't really seen that one. I didn't think 50 was going to. But I, li I like to see that. It shows that Fifth is really in another realm, man. Of, of like, you know what I'm saying? From where we've seen him. It, like This man's a true rags to riches story, man. And I really do admire that. Because that's what a lot of the, a lot of the artists that are like, yo, I got it out the mud. Like, like they should watch um, 50's, uh, like his, um, what's the word? Like his arc. Like his story arc where he started, how he started, what ha there need to be a 50 documentary, quite frankly. There needs to be a 50 Cent documentary. Why the hell is 50 Cent doing every other documentary? Maybe we should do a 50 Cent documentary. That's, oh, shoot. Yo, don't steal my idea, man. I'm gonna do it. We gotta do it. We gotta do a 50 Cent documentary, man. You know what I'm saying? We, uh, but, you know, I don't like to interview people, so we probably gonna compile all of everything that we know about it. You know what I'm saying? There really do, does need to be a 50 Cent documentary. And then, I'm gonna say, the unofficial <laughs> celeb source 50 Cent documentary. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta do it, man. Because this, that man's story arc is no joke. Oh, somebody sent me money? Find out how much. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ain't nobody sent me no damn money, man. Um, uh, feel free to, you know, feel free if, if you feel like the inclination to send your boy some money. Let me do my shout outs real quick instead of begging for money. Oh, my shout outs. I had a couple of shout outs on deck, man. Now, no, don't be trying to fast forward through the shout outs because celeb source comments consist of a lot of people with a crazy amount of wisdom, not knowledge, not only knowledge, wisdom. And when I say not knowledge, I meant to say like, because wisdom to me is more important than knowledge. I prefer to have wisdom than knowledge. You know what I mean? You can have an eighth grade education and have more wisdom than dudes that went went to, you know what I'm saying? All kinds of um, impressive colleges, man. You know what I mean? Anyway, because, um, you know, well, I, like just to throw it out there, just to throw it out there. I work with a lot of people that went to prestigious colleges, but I'm like, yo, you working right next to me. So I ain't impressed. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't blowing me away, man. If you're working next to me, if you do what I do, I'm not impressed because I am not an impressive individual. You know what I'm saying? So miss me with the bullish when these people try to crack Joe. Then you like, what college did you go to? Where'd I go? I think I went to Queens College. College. It was a while ago. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's when I got my master's. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, you got a master's. You smart, smart. No, 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 not really. You know what I mean? That's a crazy thing. Anyway, check this out. Bandit MC, my man Bandit MC came through. So yo, celeb, I just gotta say, I look forward to watching your channel every day after work. I work an afternoon shift. I get home around 2 a.m. in the morning. Everybody sleep. Nobody to talk to. So you're one of my favorite sources of news and entertainment. I'll be honest. I don't even listen to hip hop like that. Half of the people you talk about are new to me. Bruh. Bandit MC. They new to me too. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know most of these people. I can't even quote to you they raps. I never heard a... I never heard a Gucci Mane song. Never. <laughs> Tell me that ain't crazy. Um... Uh, Look, he said half of the people you talk about are new to me, but the manner in which you report the news, she, shoo. That's what he said. He said you could be talking about snapping turtles and guppy fish, and that issue would be entertaining. Word? I'm gonna do a story on snapping fish. Uh, snapping, snapping fish. T 
tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? And then my man quoted the scriptures, man, Ezekiel 820. Because he said, for the man, um, for Queso's dad telling on Queso and not wanting to take the L for his son, all I got to say is the answer is in the book. And then he went into exactly what was said um, in the book. The book said, the soul that sins will die. The son will not um, suffer for the iniquity of the father and the father will not suffer for the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous will be on them and the wickedness of the wicked will be on them. In other words, everyone will bear their own weight. You know what I'm saying? You like you gotta you gotta carry your own weight. That's what they said to um that's what they said to Alonzo when training they didn't they? They said you gotta carry your own weight around here, homie. I think that's what he said. I don't even remember. Uh Roy Scott, my man said, yo, I guess it's time to get my depressed ass up. It's been 10 years. He's talking about what 50 said. Cause 50 said, man, ain't no ain't like he don't he don't really believe the depression thing. Cause mad dudes he know like they have all the reason to be depressed and they just get up and go to work. Roy Scott said, I guess it's time for me to get my depressed behind up. It's been 10 years. Guess I'll get back to the paper. You know what I mean? Thank God for 50 Cent and there's no BS wisdom. Yeah, 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 yeah. I done told you, man. 50, 50 is packed with all kinds of wisdom, man. You know what I mean? Like, if you listen to his interviews, you know you're not dealing with a dummy. And that's why I think I really like the dude. You know what I'm saying? He's one. He, I told you, he's, is he in my top? Yeah, he's in my top five. He in my top five. You know what I mean? Him and Buckshot go back and forth. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, you know, not top five. Anyway, Nav Ent. Nav Ent said the numero uno monster in that in that R. Kelly story we covered. You like you still doing shout outs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you got something to do? You got something to do, bruh. Cause ain't nobody begging you to stick around. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, come on, man. This is where the wisdom's at. Um Alright, check this out. Check this out. Uh Yo, 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 yo. Um, was, no, no, because I just got sent a message. You know what I'm saying? Pe people trying to steal my fridge at work. You know what I mean? People, they eyeing my fridge. Because somebody left me a fridge. You know what I'm saying? So everybody eyeing it like, oh, we want the fridge now. You know what I mean? So now I'm, I got I got, I got, got people on the, I got scouts. I got I, I got scouts. Like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Make sure don't nobody take my fridge. You know what I mean? So if I can't go in, because I took off today. If I go into work and my damn fridge is gone, man, it's going to be smoke in the city. You know what I mean? Anyway, my bad. Nav Ant said, yo, in that R. Kelly video, he said the number one monster is Kel, Kel R. Kelly. The number two is dad. Number three are the family members that also knew and shut up. Number four, the security that knew this and then was quiet. Number five, the guy that said the feces story. Lying or worse, not lying for not saving them. And six and seven, the lawyers for drafting the paperwork. Six and seven. Okay. I thought he almost said and celeb. I'm about to say, I didn't do nothing, bruh. <laughs> nah, man, shout out to you, man Yo, I'm about to get through the shout outs, man um, Produced by Marsh uh, He said, I just imagined presenting Miss Krishan Rock to my Haitian moms He said, man, it'd be game over I'd be like, yeah, the, the game, and the real games would begin And, um, okay, a special shout out William Hinton, I don't know if you remember Right before Christmas, William Hinton said that um, He was gonna try to get off of fentanyl, man You know what I mean, he was encouraged You know what I mean, everybody in the comment section Celeb Source, we encourage him, man He said he gonna try to get off of Fenty, man um, Hopped on a bus, went to rehab He said, yo, Celeb, I got to have I get to have my phone for an hour a day I've been in rehab for almost a week um, I have a while to go, but I've been clean for 13 days Before that, I started drugs at 16 years old, man My man said he's trying, man you know what I mean? He said, pray for me. Hey, yo, man, everybody make sure y'all pray for William Hinton, man. Lord God, I pray for William Hinton that you would bless his mind, bless his heart, and give him strength. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what he needs right now. He needs strength, man. You know what I mean? And, and um, yo, 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 this, this is a beautiful thing, man. William Hinton, man, you got to keep pushing, man. You got to keep pushing. I know the road's going to be tough. Judith Coleman said, yo, best wishes, brother. You could do this. Life is so much better on the sober side. I'm going to keep you in my prayers. Yeah, we're going to keep you in your prayers, man. High five and all that. You know what I mean? All right, let's get right back to it. Wrap this bad boy up, man. Um, uh, Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I kind of ran over with that. But, yo, man, it was important, man. Because I needed to get those shout outs out, man. I, lo I love y'all in the comments. I'm just throwing that out there, man. I love y'all. Check this out. Uh, Gotti Lorenzo and Don Dine is, um, uh, uh, give, what is it? Uh, giving him the business. Uh, that's, I think that's like the podcast. Sat down with Jay. They sat down with Jay Prince. Yeah, 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 yeah. They sat down with Jay Prince. Oh, and finally, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to do it, you got to do it right. They shut, I, I they shut down. They sat down with, I thought I had another story. That's why I'm throwing off. They sat down with Jay Prince and they spoke on Jay Prince Jr. walking past Takeoff's body. Remember that? Remember that? Uh, and the way that he walked off, like past his body, he walked off in a way that a lot of people deemed it to be callous. And he had this to say, hey, yo, take a listen. I wanted to ask you about with uh, 
I believe it was Junior, they said he walked by. What is that all about? You know, one of the biggest lies that was told, he walked by, you know, take off body as if he was heartless and didn't care. In, in reality, you know, Junior, my cousin Michael Press, that's here with me. Shout out, Mike. You know what I mean? They was there with takeoff from the beginning to the end. You know what I mean? You know, even when they walked by, the walk by part, it took three seconds of an hour in some situation when Mike and Junior were walking by. He actually went in the restroom to wash blood off his hand where he had reached up on the takeoff here to pick him up and, and his fingers went. Hey, yo, he said, quote, he said, quote, even when they, this is what um, Jay Prince said if it didn't play. He said, even when they walked by, you know, his son, uh, the walk by part, it took three seconds of an hour in some situation. You know what I'm saying? He said, when Mike and Junior was walking by, he actually went in the restroom to wash blood off his hands where he had reached up under takeoff to pick him up and his fingers went in it. Now, um, I, like that description is insane to me. You know what I mean? If you think about, you know what happened on that on that story. You know where takeoff was shot. And he's saying he picked him up and his fingers went in it. You know what I mean? So, um, and then and then he was like, I gotta go wash my hands. This is what he's saying. I gotta go wash my hands. And that those three seconds is crazy what he's saying because I guess if you think about it. Like anybody can take three seconds of something that you did and make it seem like, you know, like, yo, man, you callously walk past and whatever. we don't know. Like, we don't know if he came back out. We don't know what happened. He don't know how long. Like, we don't or, like that video is super short. So that's what we see. So we just working off of what we see and we try to give everybody the benefit of the doubt, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, but um, uh, let us know ultimately your thoughts in the comments below what you think about what Jay Prince had to say, man. You know what I mean? Uh, be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Hey, yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source for celeb news.